What is up? Welcome to part three of the panel shows. I want to get right into it. Let's get rolling. Denver Morning Radio is our topic for tonight. Forgive me, but I have to throw my two cents in here. <laughs> now, I don't know what morning radio is like for those of you around the country, but as far as Denver goes, let me put it this way. I have officially smashed all of my radios with a hammer. I can't begin to describe the shit I sat through as I researched radio stations for this monologue. But to be fair, I did give each, radio sh of the sh each of the radio shows that I have chosen three days to show me what they got, you know, just in case they were having an off day. My first radio disaster, 103.5, The Fox, Lewis, and Floor Wax. I totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no, they're not in the house, are they? <laughs> For those who missed my diatribe late last year, let me refresh your memory. Lewis and Floor Wax are the reason people throw their car radios out their windows. There's nothing more pathetic than listening to two old fossils talking about what they would do with young chicks. Let me just say this. These two geezers need to stick to chicks closer to their own age. Grab the Viagra and go raid the bingo parlors and leave the <laughs> young chicks to those of us who can still get it up, okay? Besides Lewis and Floor Wax, the last time I saw this much waste of oxygen was when I saw the blue hair smoking while dragging her tank along. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> By the way, which one of these dipshits is Butt Wax? Is he the <laughs> retarded sounding one? Have you ever heard this Palooka talk? Uh, I was sitting on the crapper while fantasizing about spanking the Barbie twins when I got aroused. Uh, uh, uh. I wonder where they keep the drop cloth from when butt wax drools on himself like the 40-year-old virgin during the wet t-shirt contest at spring break. I thought all the, all the was covered in plastic. <laughs> while I'm at it, does he have to take his helmet off while he's on the air? <laughs> <laughs> or do the clear channel people make him leave it on just in case he has a fit and starts slamming his head on the desk? <laughs> Many people have told me that Lewis and butt wax still have the number one radio show in Denver. Yeah, that's pretty easy when you don't have any competition. If B. Arthur ran for Miss Nude America alone, she'd win, okay? <laughs> My second radio abortion on the FM dial, the locker room, 1067 KBPI. <laughs> Willie B. Stout and D. Mac. <laughs> Can anybody who listens to this crap follow what the hell these guys are saying? For three days, I heard nothing but uncoherent babbling. I thought I heard something about the Broncos, but a few minutes later, I heard one of these guys rambling on about something that he ordered in the McDonald's drive-through. Just a quick memo to locker room jockeys. If you're going to go on a meaningless drivel rampage session, here's a suggestion. Have a point. If you insist on running with your weekend weight room story, have an ending or a punchline or don't talk about it at all. I have come to one conclusion while listening to the locker room. Is there a bigger waste of radio airspace than Willie B? <laughs> Willie B is about as worthless as a 12-inch crank on Christopher Reeve. <laughs> 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 All three days I listened to the, to the locker room, Willie B bragged about getting high the night before. Come on, Steven. I've said it a dozen <laughs> times on this show, and I'll say it again. Fat, stoned, and stupid is no way to go through life. The thing that I found... <laughs> All right, we got Willie's bro in the house tonight. <laughs> the thing I found ironic, Willie B was forced to play 80s hair bands to celebrate KBPI's 30 years of being on the air. The very music he hated, he was forced to play on the air. Good for you, monkey. You be sure to <laughs> sing along with Poison every chance you get, okay? I love how Willie B tries so hard to be cool on the air. 
Uh, I hung out with the Broncos last night at Shotgun Willie. Yo, dog, those are my boys. I can only guess that Denver Broncos must cringe every time they see this stone jackass rolling up the street. <laughs> Gus Farratt must tell his wife as he hides under his bed to pass the message along that he's sleeping, so maybe his new bald, big titty groupie will get the hint and leave him the hell alone. <laughs> Willie B, you're about as fresh as a fart from a senior citizen. Now go away. <laughs> One last note about the locker room. Every now and then, a woman will take her clothes off during an interview. Wow, that's original. We've never experienced that on the radio before. Howard Stern must be running over in his grave. I know he's not dead. I just needed him for my joke. <laughs> Come on, KBPI. If you're going to blatantly steal somebody else's bits, at least have the ball sack to give them credit. Why don't you have Robin do the news while you're at it? My last radio travesty, Alice, 105.9, Greg, Bo, and Slacker. This radio show is the gayest of all Denver morning radio shows. I will give Alice some credit. They didn't show any prejudice when they hired Greg and Bo. They proved that homosexuals deserve the same chance to host their own radio show as everybody else does. <laughs> If you listen real close, every now and then you can hear the live gerbil scratching on Greg and Bo's ass walls trying to escape. <laughs> I'm guessing the reason Greg and Bo drink a lot of water during their show is to keep the semen down. <laughs> For those who listen to Alice in the morning, <laughs> my condolences, but do you notice that Dwayne D. Oil does the traffic? and Amy Freeze does the weather. So I'm guessing staying on those same lines, Greg Pole Smoker and Bo Fudge Packer round out this panel of bad radio rather nicely. <laughs> These guys are so gay, I'm surprised the station isn't called Mary 106.7. It's whatever. Uh, instead of writing comical bits to make people laugh, these halfwits have resorted to seeing how many expletives they can drop in 20-minute segments. Because these, guy, because these guys couldn't entertain bedridden grannies, half of this show they have to take phone calls from Denver hillbillies to talk about their most embarrassing moments or their pet peeves about their significant others or their favorite Christmas memories or what's wrong with the opposite sexes. Personally, the last thing I care about at 6.30 in the morning is Linda complaining that her husband doesn't clip his toenails and he scratches her legs in bed every night. <laughs> Hang up on the hicks and play some freaking music. If you want to be a part of talk radio, then go to an AM station. To show you how weak this radio show is, my buddy from the Rocky Mountain News, Penny Parker, calls this show. Oh, lucky us. We get to hear about what Julie Romanowski had for breakfast. Can morning radio get any more hideous? I won't know. I'm not going to listen to find out. Let me just say this as I wrap up. I give credit where credit is due. If you're making money doing something you enjoy, then more power to you. Hell, if you want to suck off an elephant and swim laps in its Dumbo jizz and charge a cover for it as people will actually dig cabbage out of their wallet to see it, then you backstroke yourself all the way to the bank. With each day I listened to Denver morning radio shows, the more pissed off I became. I couldn't help thinking to myself that these untalented clones are the best Denver has to offer. All of these stooges from the networks I mentioned get paid huge amounts of jack to tell rehashed, burp, fart, booger, and sex jokes. If there's any Denver radio wigs watching me right now, give me a radio show. Hell, I could top Alice, KVPI, and the Fox ratings without even trying. And I don't need three or four other monkeys to bounce off of. All these Denver radio sheep are doing the same thing, and the element of shock radio now resembles a 96-year-old man at his own birthday party in a senior citizen's home. That's my take. But then again, what the hell do I know? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Denver Morning Radio. Is it that hideous? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Actually, I must admit, I listen to Alice. I like those guys the most out of any of them. I, I, I've listened to all of them. Because I've been working at, uh, at 6 in the morning now for like 70 years. But uh, I listened to Fox for a while. And I listened, the KBPI morning show, I, listened, I lasted like a half an hour. Is it on. Willie B? Oh, my God. I thought. This is the worst morning show. Who's the guy that, that, makes, that has a real fake accent? You can, you can uh, tell. 
I don't know if that's Willie B or not. I don't even know. Those guys are <laughs> terrible. You've got the smart guy, the dumb guy, and the jock. Terrible. Yeah. Terrible. There's a smart guy in there? When they <laughs> yeah, where, where, who's that? Which one is that? This, this morning show is the worst I've ever heard in my life, by miles. Uh, I know one time they had, um, they interviewed CeCe DeVille, guitar player for Poison, Poison, on the phone. As soon as he hangs up, they make fun of him. Right. They trash what a bunch of pussies. They talk to. Well, that's the thing, too. You know, and I, last month I had Uncle Nasty in, the, in studio, and I called Willie B a fag right in front of him. And I explained to him, I would not say anything here that I wouldn't say to somebody to their face because I have the ball sack to, to back it up. These guys are so worthless. You're right. They're real tough when they're on a phone. You can see CeCe DeVille face to face and you start making fun of this guy. This okay, guy a, lot of these guys are, a lot of these guys are wanting to be rock stars. So Willie B, while CeCe DeVille is getting on a Saturday afternoon getting ready to play in front of 15,000 people, Willie B is handing out fucking bumper stickers at, at a Popeye's <laughs> chicken. Right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> so that's probably some of it. And also, right. Lewis and Floax, they had uh, Rick Springfield actually came into their studio and sang like five songs for him. I don't know how they Two got Two weeks that. later, Floax, they were play, getting ready to play a Springfield song, and Floax like, man, this guy sucks. I mean, Jesus Christ. Those I, two bother me. Sorry yeah. to interrupt, but they do nothing but promote their own band. Sure. And they do nothing to help promote local get, music. Well, sure. Plus, and they, it's, they got, they're talentless. They got seven guys around them, like the best seven guys in town. Well, that's right. They got a band <laughs> called, uh, what is it? The uh, Groove Hogs. Groove Hogs. The Groove Hogs. They've got, seven guys, they've got seven guys around them because they can't play an instrument. Yeah. They're, lowing, they're going on their laurels. Which oh, but is, it's all donated to charity, and it's yeah. all for the good of the children. BFD. Well, that's another thing, too, where Willie B got in trouble for throwing the chicken off the roof. Yeah. Uh, there was the, the wetlands. Mud, the mud fest. Mud, the mud, <laughs> what they call them, the wetlands, or what they call yeah. it. Yeah. And I, I heard Greg Stone and him talk on the radio like two weeks after he threw the chicken off the roof, and everybody was just coming down on him. And Greg was like, oh, you know, you do so much charity. And I was like, I know, I do all these charities for everybody. He did like a 48-hour on the air straight for charity. And yeah, big deal. But you can't, it, what, what he does is he does something really stupid, and then he does a charity to like, well, see, I'm a good Can guy. Right. He yeah, hides buying charities. Right. How they chicken shit do. is that? Right. That's what the Taliban do. <laughs> <laughs> is Willie B part Taliban? He's yeah. possibly. Hey. Okay. They'd be, I mean, they'd be, like, they'd, they'd, they'd be like me having sick, uh, raping a four-year-old girl and saying, "Hey, I, I walked the Cherry, Cherry Creek sneak last week. You can't touch me." Right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry Creek. Right. I downloaded oh. kitty porn, but I donated to Children's Hospital. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy. <laughs> It's the same. It's, you're right. You're, that, you're that, hiding behind that that little mask, and it's like fun. nobody is buying it, your crap. It's amazing. I, I give KBPI credit because when Howard Stern was on the radio here, they somewhat cornered the market of the bottom feeders. KBPI has somehow cornered the market of the bottom feeders. They're spying on the shit of the Howard Stern bottom feeders, and this show is just so horrible. bad. It's horrible. It is. It's absolutely. Yeah. Horrible. And they and they have the, the market cornered on that kind of music because the peak was the challenge in them. And they they changed the format. Well, Howard Stern, he came to Denver, kicked their ass in the ratings. Well, he got kicked off because. And of then the he got kicked off because of the Columbine thing. Which I don't like him that much either. It's so ridiculous. Which yeah. to me, exactly, it's ridiculous. The guy made a joke. I mean, look at the crap I've said on this show. Come on. <laughs> I get phone calls all the time, people saying, God, I can't believe you called Lisa McCaffrey a snatch. You know, <laughs> I did. So what? It's a joke. It's a jokey joke. Learn how to laugh at yourself. You know, come on. Stop being so politically correct exactly. and get on We're with Exactly. We're so life. politically correct that we can't take a joke. And that's wrong. But then you have 95.7 Kiss with Jamie. <laughs> See, I have been listening to that and I, and I refuse. So you got, you got yeah. the slut with the two gay guys who now is the slut with the ex druggie. <laughs> Beautiful radio. That's Denver Radio. <laughs> Who talks Denver. about how, how she stalks all of her ex-boyfriends. 93.3 okay. is the best. KTCL? They li I listen to them all the time. They don't say much, but they play well, they play that. music. And the they Hawk is good, music. too, because yeah. the Hawk, they don't have any guys yeah, that are trying Hawk to be funny. Right. They play music, and that's what I want. I don't want to hear some palooka in the, at 7 o'clock in the morning trying to drop a bunch of F-bombs, get bleeped out every other word. I don't want to hear that. I, I want to hear music. have to go backstage with the band and then act like they're best buddies. Right. Well, I Alice did that. You know, Sugar Ray. That's, that's exactly the, the yeah, show I, I, I listened to. I was to. flipping through and I thought, oh, Lord. That's exactly the show I listened to. These guys are drunk act backstage like with Sugar Ray. Buddies. It's Sugar Ray. Come on. They've only been here 40 times. Yeah, it's Sugar year. Ray. What the hell has Sugar Ray done in it's the last like 10 years? It's not like it's a Dead Heaven Cowboys or something. Right. <laughs> For God's sake. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Go backstage with Pink Floyd or the Stones. That'll be impressive. Go backstage with Axel. 
Yeah. Right back here behind this backdrop. You know, and, <laughs> and like you said, the Fox doesn't do anything for for, din for local music. I do a lot for local music, and that's one of the things reasons why I hate Willie B so much. He screwed Rogue out of that negative opening yes, slot. Prick. He is a prick. Thank you very much. You promise something to somebody, you better make damn sure you you follow through. Why they, why is he called Willie B Hung? Is that because he can't get it up? I mean, it should be like Willie B to my neck or Willie B to my chin. <laughs> The guy, the guy is just the biggest douchebag in Colorado. And it's so funny because his real, his real name is Stephen Mead. Stephen. <laughs> and then the 5280 makes him one of the top 30. He's like, what does that say about our state? This is exactly. the best you got. Guy tossed the chicken off a roof. And that's the best we have? Yeah, that's, that's the top 30. Well, I brought yeah. that up on the single show about what yeah. a joke that whole thing was. I wonder whose crank he sucked to get that, give him that. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he must obviously, have filled up. Obviously not yours. Scott, you? Not mine. Right? Yeah, me <laughs> hey, hey, Phil Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bring him in here just so I can settle this thing once and for all. Scott, morning radio. What do you listen to? What do you think about it? Is it, is, is it as terrible as I'm making it out to be? Oh, yeah, it's horrible. But one thing I got to go back to on when you were going through you this is. a uh, fan. Well, that's Come sports on. radio, yeah. But uh, he, uh, he used like three or four things in his monologue about uh, one of your most beloved um, sportscasters, Jim Rome. He had clones in there, make your point, and a couple other things. That, and I See, know I, how much I, you I love him. So. I, I, I haven't <coughs> listened to Jim Rome in, in three years. I just figured I'd have to bring that up. Actually, I did one time for your show because I was doing it for right. a two-minute drill. And I listened to Jim Rome for a day. You want to talk about selling yourself out. This guy's not, this guy's a corporate <laughs> whore. He was on there one day. I remember three, when I listened to him, I'm never doing any sponsorships. I'm never gonna. I'm never going to pimp anybody else's stuff. Never, ever. You're never gonna hear. It. Now he's selling jeans signed by Britney Spears and rubber signed by NSYNC. I mean, dude, come on. <laughs> Where have you gone in your radio career? Yeah. It's over, dude. It's over. Forget it. And well, and, it, and what's sad is they got to pipe that stuff in because Denver radio is so bad. They got to pipe that stuff in. They got to pipe in national shows because it's so bad here. That that tells you right there. Yeah. The they try to make the stuff. shows too long. Yeah. I mean, four hours is a long time for anyone to talk. Right. If they well, keep a morning show to two hours. Right. Go six to eight o'clock. I mean, I know it's all advertising driven, but. Right. Go still, six to eight o'clock. Yeah. That's all I need of Willie B. Let me tell you that. <laughs> More than anybody needs. Exactly. <laughs> and that's too much. I was just going to say, though, I was listening to slipping through the radio channels one night, and Lewis and, Flo Flo Lewis and Floor Wax are now doing second shift. Yeah, they do it. It's like, really? Something. The first four hours in your yeah. day. To ruin your day isn't enough. <laughs> to ruin your night too. <laughs> oh, does Will B do? Doesn't Will B do two shifts now? I think he does. Night? I think he does two shifts also. Greg yeah, Stone's got to get away from that channel. Uh, Uncle Nasty, and I'm going to say this right now because Uncle Nasty I'm, is watching tonight. Dude, you have got you have you are way too talented to sit through that garbage. You are way too talented, and you are way too nice of a guy to sit through that garbage. Get out and do something different. Somebody needs to find. Oh. Somebody with money and start a station that competes yeah, with them and, and take him away yeah. from them. You know, because you are wasting your talent, man. And They're I the only hard rock the... station, aren't they? Yeah. Sometimes, Sometimes you they can got the get a uh, kilo, ninety-four. Kilo, kilo, that's in Colorado Springs. Yeah. And that's not too bad in the morning. Well, the Peak plays like they play old '80s songs yeah. and stuff. But see, what's been the Peak's problem though? They've been. I mean, that uh, Howie and oh, they, they fired them. Good they lord. They do requests now in the morning. And I did like one day, and that was my peak in the morning. It's like. Uh, I get a peak in the morning too, I mean, but yeah, that's, no I'm not on the radio. <laughs> well, you, who are the two guys you called on KBPI? The two that got fired? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, help me, KBPI listeners. The two guys that got fired, they walked oh. into the temple and wiped Muslim. their feet on their mats. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Well, that was Dean your and Raj, yeah. thank you very much. You want to talk about worthless. Yeah, those Were they bad? Oh, oh my, my, my God. No, they are 20 steps above what they right. have now, KBPI. Oh. But do you remember the O brothers, though, on old KBPI? They uh, rocked. That was the best morning show ever. I don't remember. And that, that was before Dean Raj. That was before. That was when KBPI was still 105.9. Oh, that was old. That's that was back school, in the day. Yeah. Those wow. guys rocked. They so you got, you got banned from Dean and Raj's show because you yeah. called in and told a tasteless joke. God forbid. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah, that doesn't happen. <laughs> what was the joke you? What was the joke you told and they banned you? Well, it was 12 inches long and uh, makes a woman scream in the morning. Crib death. <laughs> Crib dead. No. <laughs> <laughs> and they played it live. Now you think, yeah. all right, Einstein's. And shortly, at, this and stuff. shortly after that, they started pre screening them. And yeah. then, of course, after like a month he later, got, they, he got KBPI and started pre screening calls. 
I mean, Einstein's, figure it out. You got people out there who are drunk at 8 in the morning who want to slip in F-bombs. Don't you record this stuff? Ozzy! Yeah, come on. Get a grip. I mean, come on. It's, it's common sense, guys. But yeah, when they walked into the Muslim and wiped their feet on the mat, they did something else too. And I was played like, the trombone. Right. Played like this yeah. Star Spangled Banner. That's what it was. That was when Mahmoud Abdul Rauf. Rauf. Yeah, wouldn't stand for that. Yeah. It's so sad. Listening, I actually listen to Cozy for like five minutes in the morning because they have like an entertainment thing they do, and I think it's like Murphy and somebody, Murphy and Joe. The girl's name is Joe. You can tell that she is so bitter and so pissed because she's like 45 years old. And she's still doing this shit. Oh yeah, and she's <laughs> single with no kids. You, and you, can, you can just hear it in her voice the way she talks. You can tell that she's like doing her nails. She could give a rat's ass about right. it. She can't stand doing it. You can tell her, her and the other guy hate each other. It's so funny. Well, that's funny too. I was listening when I was listening to the KBPI. These morning guys, everybody's got such big egos that you can't top anybody else. They can't even fit in the same room. They can't fit in the same room. <laughs> so if somebody has a good joke, Oh, that wasn't funny. Well, that yeah, was one. because you said it wasn't. You know, God. quit trying to top each other. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a penis contest. Yeah. Knock it off. <laughs> You're bad morning radio anyway. Yeah, shit's a piece of shit's a piece of shit. Doesn't matter what, what color you paint it. You a know? blue turd is a turd, <laughs> and it stinks the same. Get yeah. over yourselves. It's horrible. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> Uh, I like Alice. Alice is my favorite. The really? only Alice that should be on the radio is Alice in Chains. <laughs> you, you know, there you go. That's <laughs> over. Headbanger. <laughs> Alice Cooper. Was this right? Is that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, right. right. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> going back, going back. I don't have the long hair and shit. I don't know. If going back to that joke about like I banned from KBPI. They told me you have to listen to Alice from now on. And now I like Alice. Like five years later. Call him back. To Take that, son yeah. of a bitch. I told you. <laughs> you, Ozzy. Yeah. <laughs> but there's something about them. They have a good chemistry, and they're sure. not too full of themselves. And they do give away a lot of prizes and money. And they have. They try and solve people's problems. And they're not just. Well, that. that see right there. <laughs> what do I, if I got a problem? The last person I'm gonna trust is some crank on the radio. Yeah. You told me you know, about I, AJ getting done by LA Gun. <laughs> You're going to trust a guy like me? I know you. All I did was laugh. I thought, you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> you let your old lady get beat on? <laughs> We've got four shows in a row now with my ex-girlfriend sucking another guy's crank. Let's make it five. I got one more show to go in this taping tonight. We can do this. Bad radio. Denver is it's bad radio. So now you gotta you have to look at it this way. Should they bring Stern back? Is that the, is that what they need? I would think so. But then even then he gets old. Yeah, like, I like, I how like many times can you listen to some stripper get naked into in, right. in a radio station? And now and I guess Jackie Martling's not on the show anymore and Robin Quivers is about as annoying as chalkboard on a That's, that's on another a situation where you can tell everybody just hates the They hate each other's guts. guts. Yeah. But he's somewhat intelligent. I mean, despite what he says, he's a very smart he's guy. He's a very intelligent guy. And he's making seven figures well yeah, in the it's business. Really doing rare. That. I mean, yeah. and that, well, that's why you have all these Denver clones now doing the same bit because they figure, well, maybe we'll be the next Howard Stern. These jackasses tend to forget. Well, there's it's been a guy done. on the peak that tried to do that. Uh, nighttime guy. Yeah. Oh, that guy. Yeah. I, I heard him one. I got into it with him one night. I he took away my guest one night. Was, but, uh, uh, his, he had a one name. Uh, yeah, and it used to be jerk on. off or whatever. I don't know. We'll that's also why I like Alice is because they don't. They don't have somebody on the phone and they hang up and diss on them, or they don't, uh, they, they're somewhat, they're, they're, they're kind of respectful. hardcore, but they're still respectful, which is, I, I like that. You know, because, because I guarantee Willie B would, Willie B would chop off his dick right now to be CC DeVille. You know, so. Well, sure. And, you know, that's something else, too. That's where I talk about somebody showing him up. Somebody here, they bring an interview guy in. He's more famous than I am. Uh oh, it's now turning into a pissing contest. Yeah. So when he leaves, I'll go ahead and I'll rag on him. If See, Willie B was sitting right here right now, I would run that same monologue if he was sitting right here right now because what do I care? Axel, wake up! <laughs> wake up! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'd be in a coma, but that's not the point. I thought he was fat with tits. I he is. He's he's been, this, you know what's funny too is he hates the 80s glam. Back then, remember back then, like at. Uh, he had long hair. He had the longest, the highest hair, the tightest spandex. Sure. Has he always it is been so funny. What was, that, yeah. what was that after the gold rush at that time? That yeah. was after the gold <laughs> rush. He was there when he was with KAZY. And I remember, I remember when this When him too. and Nasty had that big rivalry. We had, I, and I remember this, and Uncle Nasty can back me up. They were at a nightclub called Bangles back in like ni 1990. <laughs> Those two actually started a fist fight. We had to break them up. Me and two other guys pulled these two guys apart. 
I because they were them. fighting upstairs. We had to pull them apart, and Nasty was there because he took a swing at me and not knowing it was me. Uh, <laughs> we had to break these guys up because they were fighting. Now they're suddenly Shortly just, after that, he went to L.A. or so, somewhere. Right, Southern and California. Nasty went to, he went to Phoenix. Yeah, Arizona. He went oh. to Phoenix, and Willie <laughs> B. And the rest is history. Yeah, and now <laughs> they work for the same station. How could you forget, uh, oh, you're doing morning right now. Yeah. Why? What do you have? What's Scott up? Scott Hastings and uh, oh. Dipshit Bailey. Doug, Doug Dave the, Logan. Are the two words. Oh. I've, I've never heard a word of sports Is on that a show. sports show? <laughs> <laughs> it's they call the sports zoo. I tune in and they're talking about what they freaking got their mom for her birthday. It's yeah. like, what? What the hell is this? Dave Logan, you are another one. You are, oh, more, you are so man. worthless. This guy, uh, First Rich thing. Perez, tried to get him to do the sports show. You're, the sports show that we do now. He guy wanted, what is it, $1,000 for 20 minutes. $1,000 for 20 minutes. Dude, I wouldn't give you 10 cents to go change my toilet paper tube in my John. Let alone give you 1000 <laughs> bucks to hear what, what you have to say. That's sad. Oh. Egos. Ego that's driven. One of, that's it's horrible. one of the worst shows I've heard. Yeah, that's the sport. The I don't listen to a whole lot of sports You've talk. you heard that then? For minutes. Uh, Scott yeah. Hastings just rambles. Oh. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. Guy's terrible. terrible. Yeah, that's... Oh, it's horrible. Denver Radio, do we agree? Well, you like Alice. Well, everybody's Those, got their favorite. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's all good. I don't think Alice is that bad, but the one, I don't like the locker room. Horrible. My wife so we all agree then the locker room sucks? Is that the top one? Top one. Willie Beautiful. Fish, Willie B, Wishing B, CCD. The big raspberry. <laughs> Willie B, if you're listening to me right now, go ahead and cut your throat and get it all over with. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you kill your wife and kids first. That's how they treat. <laughs> 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 I, uh, all right, if you have any headlines, we're getting into some headlines on that note. <laughs> headlines. <laughs> <If you have, laughs> I can't believe we said that on the air. <laughs> if you have a headline, <laughs> send them to see Axel Cohen's 1209 Pennsylvania Suite A, Denver, Colorado, 80203. If you have a headline, I will send to you one of those t-shirts. My first headline reads. <laughs> you are so good. Okay, Mr. Cones, here's your three video dating choices to choose from. <laughs> that Billy Joe and Bob? D. <sighs> High school principal training can be grueling yet rewarding. <laughs> oh. Is that better, Dana? Yes. Good. An Egyptian coffee shop owner flashes the thumbs up sign while watching the first episode of I Dream of Osama. <laughs> Remember Jared from Subway? <laughs> Boy, are you tired of that guy or what? Jared from Subway. And all of his buddies now? Okay. Osama bin Laden is now using Afghan children to get him from cave to cave. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Here we see some early arrivals for this year's future Hookers of America conference. <laughs> <laughs> Where's AJ? Had been trained. Oh! <laughs> I didn't say that. It's pretty safe to say she's not coming back to you. Is there anybody <laughs> bitter in here? <laughs> Jimmy can't use his grandfather's World War II memoirs for his school report as the words gooks, slants, and chinks appeared 461 times. <laughs> Here we go. You'll like this one. I hope. <clears throat> and finally, <laughs> ex stripper, now mayor of Georgetown, Colorado, Colleen Brooks, oh, promised go. voters discount lap dances and two for one hand jobs if they voted her into office. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to thank the panel. We're going to do one more. <laughs>